Hi there. In this video, we will be taking a look at this level from Hupar. So, let's get into the box and see what we have here. Let's break this seal. And I always like it when I see a little pouch like this for a tool, because that means that I can keep it safe. And already noticed something. It's not magic. This little guy surely has a magnet on it. Voila. And you might be wondering, hey, what is a tool like this good for? It's kind of small. It's yeah, to make something level, you need something uh, a tiny bit bigger. Let me uh, dig around in here in my tools. Maybe you need something like this. Uh, well, you sometimes do, or even a laser level. I will link a disc, uh, in the description a laser level from uh, Quepar, which is awesome. But there are jobs when something like this is honestly the best uh, thing to tackle it. And I'm going to show you. For example, this double sided adhesive. I want to put it on my wall. Uh, what good would something like this do to me when, I don't know, 70% of this tool will be in the air, not touching what I need to put level because it's just not the tool for the job. Voila! So the contact surface is way more than enough to put something like this level. Another thing that I need to put on the wall, because hey, it's summer and I like uh, LED lights. This support for a LED light, same thing. It's a small contact surface. Why would I need a bigger level than this? And also, something else, I don't have such a tool. Uh, which is also digital. I have this cheapo old one. Obviously, I have the Huepar laser level, which... Uh, could I actually find it really quickly now? This awesome tool. Huge beast of a tool. But this needs to be put uh, on a tripod. It will shine... Uh, green lights and it will show us uh, it's locked now it will show us when something is level but it's not the same this has a different purpose so again need a particular tool for a particular job again this video in the description if you want to check it out so now back to this little guy we seem to also have a screwdriver to be able to put in the batteries. And this should be an easy job. Worst case scenario, if you don't have uh, good batteries or you are at a job where your batteries have uh, drained, you still have the old style bubble level. So you are not... Uh, uh, left uh, hanging maybe you can hear my daughters in the background they don't seem to be happy but my wife will deal with them put this in position they are not uh, a known brand batteries but from the feel of them they seem to be good quality and also alkaline which is what you want in a tool like this you do not want uh, those uh, cheapo uh, zinc carbon batteries or whatever i think they are those zinc cadmium anyway yeah maybe zinc cadmium uh, those will uh, ruin your tools when they uh, wear out and uh, start leaking the electrolyte so you want good batteries in uh, nice tool like, uh, tools like this and obviously again uh, if you weren't paying attention it's a magnet so if you are working with some metal profiles, <laughs> this is perfect. And as you can see it, 
Now just look at that bubble. Smack right in the center. So the bubble and the level, the electronical part are perfectly aligned, but it's much easier for me to notice a text. But maybe let's take into consideration I want to put something at uh, 10 degrees. I cannot do it with the bubble. That's not doable, but with the electronic part, yep, 10 degrees, give or take, because I have shaky hands. So this opens up a way uh, wider uh, area of uh, working with the tool. And here is in percentage from Okay, not really sure about this percentage. Ah, and we have hold, so it will lock the last value when you press the button, and presumably if I long press it, turn the light uh, off. And yes, error when you incline it like this. So the tool isn't meant to work in that direction. If you have something on that direction, rotate the tool. So this is its working direction. Mode. Oh, millimeters per... Ah, this is awesome. You know what? This is really good for uh, putting pipes in the ground, for example. You need to have for one meter a certain uh, incline. And that's uh, usually not given in uh, degrees. It's given in millimeters per one meter. So, you know, okay, we need... Uh, 10 milli uh, 100 millimeters for one meter, that's 10 centimeters for one meter. We are here, the pipe is good. Inch per feet from what I see here, then again degrees and percent, but I'm not sure about the percent honestly. Percent from what? Hmm. So for example, now we can see that my workbench is pretty much bang on 0.3 of a degree. Let me quickly check the manual and see what that percent means actually. I think I figured it out also with the percentage. Well, it measures from let's say zero in theory. And at 45 degrees it's 100%. And a simple translation to that, I think, would be something like that. At, I don't know, let's say 20% for every 100 meters, for example, of distance in this direction, we will have uh, 20 meters in this direction. Or, let's say like that, for 10 meters that you travel like that, the elevation increases with 2 meters. In some situation, presumably, uh, things are given in percentage like this. So, yeah, that makes sense. And like this, the inclination in, uh, until which you get the error is 30 degrees in this direction and 30 in this direction. Also, this groove right here is uh, good for round pipes. I don't have a metal one at hand, but something like this. It somehow centers on the pipe itself, so you get an accurate reading. Makes sense. Nice tool. I really like it. And obviously, in here it shows an arrow in which direction you need to move it to compensate. So we have the level line and where we are we are below the level line so it's quite cool and yes we can actually recalibrate it i'm not going to do that but i see no reason it's working perfectly if ever it comes uh, becomes decalibrated yes it has a recalibration mode and also something quite cool let's see if we can measure something let's put it in here for example we are at, come on, 10 degrees, correct? If we hold on to this button, uh, nope, sorry about that, eh, just quickly press it, it will zero it out, so we'll have a relative measure 
from this to whatever we want. So we are actually measuring only how much we are changing an angle of something, not if it's level or not. This is pretty cool in some situations. And to shut it off the long press. So yeah, nice tool. Let's get to using it and I'm going to quickly show you the manual as I always do and if you need feel free to pause at any time to read any of it in case you don't have it anymore. In case you need the code there and yes obviously you can use this for uh, such measurements and you can zero it out and see a difference nice yeah, and it actually wait a second it has the text backwards so it can rotate the text am i seeing that right so 87.90 yes it can rotate the text for us to read it <laughs> you can see by moving that uh, degree right there it jumps from one side to the other depending on if we go past the vertical point or not. This is quite cool. Let's go in and install some LED lights onto the wall by using this. And if you are a bit of an uh, uh, OCD, have a bit of an OCD like I have, for example, inside the house uh, to level paint, uh, paintings and stuff like that, <laughs> this is awesome because it's small, you put it on it, level it and it's done. Just a quick example on how you can measure pipes, for example, for this chair. Magnet stays in position, doesn't fall, that's quite cool. And something that could only bother me, 99% of people would ignore it. This thing, which, uh, yeah, the battery is drained, it's a thermometer and a clock, was not put level onto the wall as we can see clearly so now when i will take it off and change the batteries i will also align it next time yeah but for the socket i was bang on <laughs> that's great well i think this is good enough let me check one of the lights that i installed without using the level well uh, yeah not quite ideal, as you can see, even on the bubble itself. I will re-level this one also. And now we are good. So your eyes will trick you many times without using something like this. You think it's level, but from things around it or something like that, it will trick you and it's actually not level. This will tell you for sure. The weather changed, so also installing these lights now. And it's perfect. And now I know for a fact that it's level because I used this. So that's about it. It's starting to rain outside. So the rest of the lights I will need to install another time with the aid of this little guy. So thank you very much Huepar for sending this tool in. It will be put to good use around the house and obviously it will be seen on the channel in the future in my projects because this can be used basically for anything, not just, I don't know, work around the house, but even for uh, building little things on this channel. So that's about it. See you in the next one. And again, thanks. And thanks to you guys for watching.